Hello everybody, I'm back on the docks, this time in Coral Gables, Florida. Thank you, Sarah, from Huckins Yacht Corporation very much. I got the invite from Sarah to come check out one of her new listings. This is Wombat, and this is a 2014 Huckins 45. So my purpose today is to take a walk around and let you see what the camera is seeing here. And so far, so good. I just had a quick chat with the owner of the boat and I've got no doubt that he is the type of person that loves his Hawkins, works proactively to maintain it. Folks that don't know, Huckins Yacht Corporation, Jacksonville, Florida. They're one of the premier builders of custom boats in the United States. I believe this is Hall 458. And the mission for this boat, the seller shared with me, they wanted to get a boat that allowed them to do cruising and allowed the folks to enjoy some fishing. When you step into the cockpit, it's real obvious that this is a 2014 boat and it's certainly a used boat, but in no way a neglected or abused boat. So let me jump on the covering board. This boat's got a mezzanine, which is nice. You can get out of the sun. There's room everywhere in this boat. That's one thing I noticed, headroom. I'm six foot, 200 pounds, and I mean, there is absolutely no place in this boat that I can go where I feel cramped. Hopefully the camera conveys the fact that this teak is in great condition. And when you start looking at this paintwork and just the details for a 2014 boat, this Huckins is aging really well. One awesome feature is this engine room hatch. When I lift this hatch, it's humongous. It's got a stand up engine room. So let's take a step up to the bridge deck. Space overhead here, there's got to be at least three feet above my head. So that kind of paints a picture of the space here. When I take a look out this Isinglass, it still looks really clear. I had the air conditioning on a second ago, and this whole area feels great with that AC blowing. Let me focus in on this helm, and you can see these modern electronics. This boat's powered by twin Cummins and it's got a pod drive set up. So that'll show you the controls for the engines. Let me get the camera down here and show you the measurements. These Stid helm chairs look great. Like new really, honestly. There's a ladder here that's gonna bring you up to this tower. I was up there a second ago beautiful L-shaped settee up there. There's a hard top over your head. Helm electronics, another station to drive in the tower. Under that cushion is a cooler. You can perhaps hear this air conditioner going. It feels good. This stid's one of these doubles. And when I really focus in on this paintwork or this varnish, Everything's aging very, very good. We'll take a step down into the interior of this Huckins. The owner 
customer shared with me that their goal was to get an interior that would allow them to sleep guests overnight. So for instance, this L-shaped settee makes a, a place to sleep. Big windows in the salon, that was another goal. They didn't want to feel like they were walking into some place that didn't allow light into the boat. And let me take a look at the, whether you look at the woodwork, I mean, these headliners, all this stuff is aging really, really well for a 2014. This was kind of cool when it was time to start flipping lights on the seller just, whoop, oh, there we go. Custom job there. Everything's right at eye level. This couldn't be easier to look at. Okay. Let me show you these Sub-Zero drawers under the counter. These are popular. You can set the temperature at fridge or freeze, and you can put a lot of stuff away in these drawers. Not so much as a blemish on these gaskets. These are like new. Okay, there's two staterooms in the boat. You can see right ahead of us is the master. It's a walk around queen. And this boat even still smells like a new Huckins. I swear the further you go forward, it's like the less this thing looks like it's been used. They did a nice job of picking out very neutral Wallpaper's got a little texture. I don't know if the camera conveys, but these have barely even seen any hangers. God, it still smells new. Okay, let me turn around. It'll show you this bed. Definitely comfortable for a couple. Got another hanging locker on the other side. That door will give you access to the head if this is closed down overnight. And then as you walk out of your master, look to the right, there's a twin and a twin. And I was in here earlier and this stuff, all the texture and the fabric still shows like new. these blinds open and we'll keep them closed there's what the head looks like across from this room and they use these nice modern sinks everything looks good to me all right let me show you a couple things in this salon. The door we're looking at is for the main head in the boat. This is a big, big head. Air conditioner works great in here. Surfaces that are easy to keep clean. Looking very good. This is a cool feature. If maybe you fly into your boat, there's a nice storage space here under the salon sole. If you need to make some suitcases disappear, or you know, dry goods, paper towels, toilet paper, just a very big spot for all of that. Okay, let's get back outside. One thing that really shocked me was when the seller opened this engine room compartment. If only I had someone else to hold the camera, it'd be a little more dramatic, but... Voila. 
I'm six foot, 200 pounds, and there's absolutely, this is maybe one of the best engine room accesses to a 45 foot fishing boat I've ever seen. We've got equipment on down here, so I'm not gonna get way in here, I'll just get loud, but there's an Eskimo machine. We've got two Cummins diesels, generator is right in the middle. You can see the wiring, well done. And then if I pan these bilges, I mean, spotlessly clean, bone dry, this is what we wanna see. Let's get out to the side deck. Okay. We've got rails that'll take you all the way to the bow. So let me just grab one. These are side decks are, you know, 10, 12 inches wide. Bow rail start. And then you've got a grab rail here to take you all the way, all the way up. Awesome traditional looking boats. Let's see if I can get on the bow and I'll turn around. The cellar's got a great dock. Easy to get out from here. Okay, here's what this Huckins looks like at our home dock in Coral Gables. Guys, after watching this video, any questions you have about the performance of the boat, how much fuel it holds, what it burns per hour at any given speed, get a hold of Sarah Gilo at Huckins Yacht Corporation in Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for watching.